In this video we will show you how to use Smart Board Tool. Here we have Point Cloud project of rail bridge that mostly contains of steel beams. These beams has different shapes and angles, because of that Smart Board will be very helpful. We will start by opening Smart Board from Work Plane tab. This will create three different viewports, one for drafting, one for side and one for top view. In a smart board dialog box will also appear in which you will be able to select options such as cross section and profile section. Also you will be able to adjust section thickness, section offset size and even move that section using arrows. Another thing that you will be able to do is to change section view in draft plane according to specified surface. Then you have drafting plane management settings. And few more options to translate section view from drafting viewport into new view section, or automatically create a regular profile. So our first move towards creating metal beam will be to adjust our view section so that we will clearly see beam that we are interested in. After that we will create cross section. To do it we will go to top view and we will mark beginning of the element and then the end of same element. This will create new section, but since we are interested in element structure and we want to be precise on that we will create another section, this time profile section, and we will mark two points of same element. As you can see, this created new section and new UCS. Now we see 10 cm size profile section of our beam, so we are able to draw it. There are two ways how you can model your beam, first is to draw outline of beam using rectangles or poly lines. We will use this option later on. Another way to model beam is to use section extrusion tab and use standard shapes profile section blocks. So we will use H form dynamic beam block and adjust it according to point cloud information. So once we have those two longest beams outlined, we will extrude them and see if our created cross sections and profile sections were correct, and if these long beams are in correct position. It seems like everything is really precise so we can move on and start modeling smaller elements that are in between our two beams. So workflow will be the same for every element that you want to model using Smart Board Tool. First we will use cross section tool to specify element that we are interested in, and after that we will create profile section, so that we will be able to follow outline of element in correct plane in UCS. This time we will use another option to model our beam. This time we will draw rectangles or poly lines and join them into single figure which we will extrude later. Since these beams are mostly irregular shapes, we will model them using rectangles and poly lines instead of dynamic blocks. It is all up to you, if you want to draw element profile and extrude it to correct position straight away, or if you want to draw all profiles at once, and then extrude all of them at the same time as well. Here is how our railroad bridge upper part looks like with realistic coloring applied. Now we will move on and model side part of the bridge. Since we already have a lot of elements modeled, we will hide all elements to have clear view and we will start following same workflow by specifying cross section and profile section. And once we have our UCS and plane ready for modeling we will draw element profile in your desired way.
And now we can take a look at finished product. If you have any questions about smart board or any other undet for AutoCAD functionality send us email to info at undet.com. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos. For more info subscribe our channel or visit our website at www.undet.com.